What's up guys, Bloodshed here, bringing you a Diablo 3 patch 267 video. We just had a 30-40 minute podcast based on the notes, and the PTR came out today, so I thought I would take the time and show you the visual version of that, like what the killstreaks look like, what the rewards are going to be, what the new sets look like. This will be like a cosmetic video, just kind of showcasing that. We're still hammering out the details on what's good, what's bad, you know, the sets just came out and they're probably going to go through some iterations. So as we hammer out the numbers until then, I want to show you what everything looks like. So if you go to chapter four, you get the unicorn and the portrait. Now, these aren't the new ones, but it looks like they're recycling the old ones for chapter four. So if you haven't got these, you have a chance to get them now. But if you do climb all the way to guardian tier, you get a very cool Tyrael themed goblin pet. And I want to know what he does. I haven't actually unlocked him yet on the PTR, but at least you get a preview of what he looks like. And you get a new portrait frame as well. It's all very angelic themed this time around. I think you guys will catch on as the video progresses. But yeah, good job on the pet. It's a new custom pet. And then you get the portrait as well. Super cool stuff. This is the new Crusader set. It's heavily, obviously, basically based on Imperius. I went ahead and got the Spear Transmog and the you know, Reaper of Souls pre-order wings to match it perfectly. It's a dope looking set and it's real thematic to Crusader. And I'm excited to add this to my transmog pool. Um, the set's decent right now. We're still kind of, like I said, hammering out the details in, in terms of its effectiveness. But you can use this transmog for Invoker, for Roland and all that stuff. You can get that justice that you dish out justice like you always wanted to. I have one on a female as well. Let me show you what that looks like she's really cool you can do some cool things with the transmog as well look at that isn't that glorious that's super cool i actually found a use for falcon wings finally and we added falcon wings to the darker we kind of dyed it a darker color and it has like this valkyrie type look to it it's pretty dope looking so worst case scenario you know like you get a cool transmog out of it i think so I think the transmog's hit and miss with most people, but look at that, man. Come on. Like a total Valkyrie right there. Let's get some... And this is what, like, obviously uh, Fist of Heavens looks like and everything like that. The new monk set looks like this right here. It's not good looking on the male monk. So there's better to come. It looks super cute on the... Female monk, I mean, if you like it, then I'm happy for you. You know, like you got something that you can believe in. This looks like if I had, if I was wearing a hoodie right now, like, look at. <laughs> this looks like Assassin's Creed type style or whatever, but you can always just hide the hood and it turns decent when you do that for the male monk. I can only be honest, right? But yeah, it looks better like this. And I use these, uh, if you want to know what these fist weapons are, these are from the Warlord to Drainer promotion back in 2014. So one of our uh, community members suggested I go blue with the transmog and check it out what we came up with with the female monk. It's super nice looking. It takes really well to new color palettes. And um, we gave it the original pre-order wings, the Tyrael wings. And it looks super cool. It, ha it like fits, like her head is more in the hood, I think. Versus the, the male is like protruding out of it. Maybe if they just readjust it. And like her like her little hairstyle. It's super cool looking. I really like the transmog. So if you want to know what the new sets look like. Because we hadn't known what they look like before today. So this is all new to us. This is the first time they added sets to Diablo for years and years. I think like season 4 was the last time. Unless you count the Necromancer sets. And then here's the version I made. I put like the wraps and I gave her like the fishnet. So it's kind of similar to this where you get like the wraps and all that stuff. But uh, it's a super cool transmog. And I feel like a lot of monks will be using it. You can't change the color of the beads. So it kind of forces your wings to be blue. But there's a lot of different blue options that you can use to kind of pull off of it. It's fashion hunter over here. What's going on? If you're familiar with the seasonal theme, you know it's like a massacre bonus season or like a kill streak season. The official name is the Pandemonium buff. At 15 kills, you get energy twisters, which you'll see. I'll kind of demonstrate that here on stream, which is basically like uh, wizard energy twisters. These geysers are like uh, stone singer geysers. 
the chickens look like little uh, witch doctor Manajuma chickens, and they go so fast, you probably will miss them most of the time. Uh, corpses rain from the sky at 100. It's basically just like the witch doctor spell. Frost Nova freezes enemies. This seemed to be the most useful, and it is really useful, and it does damage. So it actually not only freezes, it does damage. This is really good. And if their screen is full of mobs, it'll pretty much kill everything, at least at, you know, up to like a GR 80, 90 we were doing. It pretty much freezes and kills everything. And you get credit for your kill streak. So if you kill like 100 mobs on screen, you jump to 200, 300 really quick. So this kind of starts to snowball you when you get the 150. Then you instantly go to 200 and then treasure chests fall from the sky. That's the greed buff. And they're all pretty good, honestly. Like all the buffs. I mean, you don't really see the chickens. That would be my number one uh, feedback. But they're all fun to get. And we've played with it for multiple hours today. And it, it was really good. Uh, a ring engulfs everything. Now, this is bugged and it's so triggering because it actually kills you. I don't know if this is intended. We have to hear feedback on that, but right now you can actually kill your group. If you're playing hardcore, this is very bad. It one shots. It one shots easy right now. Um, and I had like bandamite up and all kinds of other bonuses. So we'll see <laughs> what happens. Uh, meteors hail from above. This looks really cool. This is like a um, uh, angelic meteor. We never thought they would be like golden meteors. You'll see what it looks like. And then angels descend upon you to fight for you. This is really cool. They do a lot of damage. There's like two to four angels and they're really awesome. And then when you get to a thousand, something special happens. I will showcase that. We did do it on stream. Perfect. We got a nice open map to demonstrate. At 15, you can see the tornadoes. Perfect. Let's keep killing. We're at 30. Do you see the chickens? I might have to slow down the video. It happens so quick. And then, oh, there it goes. They're at 50. Chickens are fast, man. At 100 kills, corpses rain from the sky. You can't really miss those. They kind of fly across the screen. You can see them. <laughs> it looks bad. It looks kind of bad, man. It's like dropping french fries in front of the monitor, but whatever, dude. Um, it's fine. At 150, we get the Frost Nova. Let me try to, let me try to plan it without losing my kill streak. 49, boom, we see that big attack and we jumped up a little bit. If I had more density and you plan it more, you can get better results from it. At 200, we get the chests. We're at 180. Hope I don't lose it since we're so close. There's the chest, you can see them, they're like the greed realm chests. And 300 is the next tier. The fire, so the fire one is the one that kills. I hope I don't lose it, uh oh. Let me kill this to keep it going and then try again because I keep misclicking. I don't know what's going on with me. Okay, whew. Monka dude, Monka X at 260, 275. 275. So it didn't actually kill me. I wonder if it's only when you're, oh, I have shield pylon, Never mind. So I couldn't even showcase it, Never mind. That's probably what it is, we have shield pylon. We're about to hit 400, that's the meteors. Meteors is really cool, look. A do 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 do. So you're pretty much always gonna get 500 per rift if you're efficient. Like, I, we pretty much always get, oh, the angels are here now. Angels, there they are. You're pretty much always gonna get 500. Like, it's just, greater rifts are typically laid out pretty well. And you can see them, they do pretty good damage. And they might help you on the Rift Guardian if you could time it perfectly. Hey, brothers, brothers in arms. But to get to a thousand, it's almost impossible without having like a really clever use of game mechanics. You're not gonna hit a thousand. Um, the way we did it was you get to, you're in a group, right? Or you can do it solo actually. And let's say you get to five or 600 in the group. Then you have to immediately port to town or port to your friend and do the cow level, do the curse chest event. We did it multiple times or go to like ruins of Corvus and get the other 
four to 600, depending on what you need. So here's me at 918 kills. We're about to hit a thousand. This is what happens. If you don't want spoilers, look away. Okay, this is what happens when you get to a thousand kill streak. Boom, a freaking fire chain pentagram spawns. It's cool, we just uh, didn't know what it was. So it was a little underwhelming overall. But um, yeah, I mean, you're never gonna really encounter this in your day to day. You have to really go out of your way to get it. So it's just fun to have an Easter egg, I guess. You know what I mean? Just to see what happens if you get to a thousand. So maybe there'll be an achievement attached to it. Some people were saying maybe on live servers there'll be something else. Um, but as of right now, it's a fire chain pentagram and yeah, maybe it's Diablo 4 confirmed. I don't know. If you want to know what the Hadrigs are, they're on the same rotation every season, but Demon Hunter gets UE, Barbs get Wrath the Waste, which is performing really well right now. It's doing really good. Wizards get Tal Rasha, Witch Doctors get Helltooth, and Monks get Raymond, and Crusaders get Roland. Man, I'm really tired. We've been grinding all day. <laughs> Necros get Rothma, and then of course he's the new pet and portrait we talked about. Um, Sprinter, Avarice, on a good day. This is really easy achievement. Divinity, reach 75 solo, really easy conquest season and thrill. Thrill's always fun. So this is what it looks like for season 19 for all the rewards and cosmetics and all the new stuff. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you want more content from me, I just started a second YouTube channel. I'll put a link in the description. It's mostly a let's play and highlights and I'll probably upload just random wacky things that I think there. I also, you know, have, I'm gonna have tons of videos on this channel based on the PTR and what we come up with. It looks like there's gonna be some feedback for Blizzard. So I'm gonna really dissect the PTR and try to give the best feedback possible and make us have the best season possible because I'm really excited about the changes and all that stuff. I have a podcast. You can find that down below as well. Weekly Diablo focused podcast. All my builds are on my Patreon page. Again, in the description, the Patreon page, all the builds are free for everyone. I'm going to go through and update all I can for next season. So again, thank you guys for the support. Um, I hope you liked the video. That's going to be all for me today. This is the Bo Bobo Bloodshed and I'm out of here. Peace.